Hey, hi, welcome to today's show, The Social Maggie Show. Welcome, and today is episode number 20. And if you are a small business owner or an entrepreneur, or maybe you have a side hustle, I just wanna let you know that you are in the right place if you want to discover how you can be using your Facebook page and your posts so you can get more engagement, so you can get into people's news feeds and you can reach more of your target audience. So this is where you're gonna get the insights that you need uh, on how to, um, how to get into news feeds, how to create the content, um, and how to post consistently. So you're gonna get help with all of that, all of that stuff. So today, um, in today's show though, I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, we are going to just be looking at um, some popular questions uh, that I get asked or that I see uh, people are struggling with and some of the obstacles. So if you have a question that you want to ask, um, I am going to be uh, giving you answers to uh, what you're struggling with. So just leave your, um, your questions down below. And so at the end of this live, I will go and I'll see if there's any questions. And uh, if there is, I will answer them at the end. Um, the other way too, if you don't want to put your question into the comments below, you can send me a private message and I'll, I'll check that as well. And if I do happen to miss, miss it and I don't see it until afterwards, I will certainly um, answer it then as well, even if you're watching it on the replay. So I will always get notified if you've left me a comment. So so now, um, if you uh, are just finding my show now, if you uh, haven't watched before or you're new to me, I'm Maggie and I'm a Facebook uh, coach and a trainer, course creator, and I'm also an implementer, which means I give you the support that you need so you can take what you're learning and you can actually implement it into uh, your um, your system to create your posts so you get uh, what you want, get the results that you want from your Facebook page. So if you have any friends too, uh, any small business people you know that could benefit from my show, please let them know because um, they can tune in and uh, it could help them along as well. So maybe you want to tag them below for that. So I do get asked a lot of questions about Facebook and uh, Facebook pages and also with Facebook generally too. Uh, so I today I just did uh, the top four questions that I get asked most frequently. And so uh, I'm just gonna go through those today and give you my answer. Okay, so let's get started. And the uh, usually the number one question that I get, it's a question or a struggle that uh, you have, is that I see uh, people with their Facebook pages um, they get really frustrated with the amount of time and the amount of work it takes to create content and also the time it takes to post it. So I totally get that because, you know, that's one of the reasons why I'm uh, now giving you what I know because I've had to create some process and some systems for myself to figure that all out. So I figured it all out for you. So if you're having any struggles at all, um, further struggles, just let me know and I can help you with that. So it is, it can be time consuming and it can be a lot of work but there's an easy way to get around this problem. And that is if you have a strategy and you have a plan and you have that in place, and then you can create your content for the following week or two weeks or even a month in advance. Um, and so if you have that strategy and that plan in front of you and you're using a content calendar, then it's going to be a whole lot easier for you to see um, where you have holes in your social media, uh, the type of content you're posting. So it's going to help you um, also be consistent with your posting. So you can sit down at one time and decide on the content you're going to put out for the next week. And then you're going to create the content and you're gonna do it all at the same time. And then you can go into Facebook, you can create the posts and you can schedule them so they go out when you want them 
to uh, be published. So um, now creating content that goes into your post can be time consuming. So if you're uh, trying to make some uh, really good content, but you're frustrated with that because you're not a graphic designer and you're not feeling that you're that creative, if you use a uh, design program like Canva, um, this is going to help you a whole lot because it is has everything in there. It's got the social media uh, sizes for you. So you can just click on Facebook posts. It's the exact size. Instagram posts, it's the right size. And then they are going to provide you with uh, images that you can choose for, through, uh, some pre-done designs, templates, and you can just put in your text. And so you can create the images, the photos, and the videos that you want for your content. You can do that inside Canva, and that makes it a whole lot easier as well to create your content. Okay, so moving on, the next question that I get asked a lot is about getting engagement and how to get engagement on your posts and how to get more reach. So that is also at the top of people's list. They want to get uh, more awareness. They want their Facebook page and their posts to be more visible to more people. And it can be a very frustrating problem for sure. So it's easily solved as well. When you know specifically um, how to get into people's news feeds. So we know that the Facebook algorithm is, uh, it has since 2018, it's changed. And so you're not getting the organic reach that you used to get. So how can you get organic reach and how can you get your posts so they're ranked higher by the Facebook algorithm and so you get pushed out into people's news feeds. So the sooner you get engagement too, so right after you post, as the sooner you get engagement, the better, because that tells Facebook right away and the algorithm right away that you're getting engagement on your posts and that it's going to um, push it out more. So it's like, oh, well, this is the kind of content that people like. They're reacting to it and they're engaging with it. So let's put it in front of some more people and see how it does. And so it's sort of like a... a um, well, that's how something can go viral, right? So the more it's seen by people and shared and, and uh, reacted to, the more it's going to get pushed out into the, into the news feeds by the Facebook algorithm. So we need to figure out how to keep that Facebook algorithm happy. And so you're creating the kind of content that's right for your audience so they do engage with you. So once you know the great content, to create for your audience and then you're using a tool like Canva to create it and you're scheduling it and plan and it's planned ahead of time, then you are going to be way ahead of the curveball. So the next thing that I get asked or that I see as a big problem is I hear that you don't know what to post. So you spend too much time trying to figure out what you're supposed to say. You don't know what to say to your people. You don't know even know what to post. You don't know what kind of images. So this again is can be an easy peasy way uh, to solve this problem. And um, believe me, because I know I've been there that I have sat in front of my screen with a blank, uh, blank status update in front of me. And I'm like, I don't know what to post. So I recognize that that was a problem, it's time consuming, you get really frustrated and sometimes you just walk away from it and then you don't even end up posting, right? Or you're not posting consistently. So what I have discovered is that in order for you to um, post consistently and, and be happy with the content that you're posting, um, you need to know what you're going going to post. So how do you do that? You have a plan, you have the strategy ahead of time. But once you look at your content closely, your the type of business that you're in, and I also have like a cheat sheet on um, the basic four types of posts that you can be using. And it's the type of posts and within each type, there's different um, different options you can pick. So you always know that there's something you can use in that cheat sheet that's going to give you an idea of what to post. So I have that cheat sheet and uh, at the end, I'm going to let you know how you can get some of my cheat sheets 
that can help you along. So once you know uh, that you've got a plan and you're scheduling it out and you're, you have an idea of what kind of content you can do, there's so much content. And once you learn the strategy of that, once you learn the trick of how to open up that that box so you can look at your business, you can look at what it is, your message, and what you can say to your people, then this is a problem that's going to go away. Um, now the fourth thing that I uh, see is, or I'm, t I'm, I'm, when I ask the question, you know, what are you struggling with? Another problem that I get back uh, is uh, not posting consistently. You seem to not be able to uh, be able to plan that out and post consistently. So you might post for a week and then you fall off the bandwagon. And, and so, you know, you just get to get right back on it, right? So it, recognize that that does happen. But if you have it planned out in advance, a week or two or even a month, some of your content could be planned out each month if you have repeating content. Like I have my live Facebook show, I know it's every Friday, so I can plan that out every Friday for as long as I decide that I'm going to be doing my show. So if you come up with some ideas like that, that you can have regular content that you know every Wednesday you're going to post this kind of content, then that's also going to help you, right? So posting consistently is the key because you really need to show the algorithm that you're posting consistently because when they see that, the algorithm loves that, you're going to keep the algorithm happy and you're going to, it's going to improve the overall ranking for your page and your posts. So it is, um, it's great when you can get to the point that uh, you know what to post and that it's scheduled out, you know uh, each day what you're going to post and the other thing is you don't need to be posting every day on Facebook if you post at least three times a week uh, and that's all you can do that's fine at least it's three times a week the Facebook algorithm is going to really like that so if you're just starting out and you're you're feeling overwhelmed let's take some of that overwhelm away from you and let's just do three posts a week for a while until you get comfortable with that system and that process and then you can add in some more posts or maybe um, different type of content you want to expand on the quality of your content or the complexity of your your posts that you're creating so you just need to take it one step at a time and just start with doing three posts a week making sure your content is uh, what your target audience likes and sometimes we have to experiment with that but uh, once you have an idea of the kind of content that you can post then you're going to be so much farther ahead and all of these are the these four are the top things that i see are the biggest problems the biggest challenges right now that i see people are having and that i get asked a lot so it's easy to fix. It's not rocket science by any means. So it's just once you know how to do it, then you know how to do it. And then you can incorporate that into your process and create a system for yourself. And once you have that in place, so it's part of your business system, it's part of your daily business or your weekly, one of your weekly tasks in your business, and you just schedule the time to do that every week then you're gonna make huge progress and you're gonna get into people's news feeds you're gonna get more reach and engagement and you're going to grow your page and you're going to start attracting the audience too that you really want and once all that starts happening is going to snowball from there but you still need to show up on a regular basis at least three times a week and you need to be providing quality content for your audience so it's the kind of content that they are compelled to react to and engage with and then you can start creating uh, two-way conversations uh, in the comments or take it off and move it into a private message and carry on the conversation there. So that's the top four um, questions and challenges that I see the most. Uh, so maybe some of this resonates with you and um, I hope that this has uh, helped you so and that it becomes easier for you to fill your page and uh, cr start creating some really amazing content for your posts. So 
like I said, I have some cheat sheets for you. And if you want a cheat sheet on any of these things to help you, just let me know. So leave me a comment below or uh, send me a private message. Um, and now I'm gonna just check to see if I have any questions. So just bear with me for a sec. I'm just gonna go to my phone here and just see. I just have to go Facebook and then find my page. Hold on. Okay. Almost there. And just finding where I'm live on here. There we go. Okay. All right. Four um, questions and challenges that I see the most. Okay. Uh, so Tina some... says, uh, that that is great. So thank you, Tina. Um, so it doesn't seem like I have any more questions, but if you are catching this on the replay, don't forget, you can always leave me a question after uh, and I will get a notification. So I look forward to hearing from you. And that brings us to the end of this week's show. Now, before I sign off, I just wanna let you know that my um, show today, the Social Media Show is brought to you by my group coaching program, which is called Magnify Your Engagement. So the October session is closed now, but I am going to be opening it up again very soon. And in my group coaching program, uh, you're going to get all your questions answered and you're going to get solid solutions. You're going to get the know-how of how to remove all these obstacles. How do you can make them all go away? So it just becomes a really easy system and process for you and you have a better understanding how to create your content so you can get the results that you want right on your posts and on your pages. So inside my group coaching, you get coaching and training from me. And I know sometimes it can seem like a really daunting task to take this on, right? But in my program that you're going to uh, make leaps and bounds in, in, in getting yourself organized and knowing what to post that even after the first week, you're going to actually start seeing some results. So after the fourth week, when, you've, when it all wraps up, you're going to definitely have a strategy and you're going to have a system in place that's going to allow you to do all of the things that are standing in your way right now and you're going to get that engagement and start creating some amazing content so if you want to get on the waiting list for the upcoming um group coaching uh let me know because well actually i'm going to put the link up above in the text so if you just look up above in the text you'll find a link there and you can click on that and you can get on the waiting list so you'll be one of the first people to know when it's open so you don't miss out and if you haven't joined my free community facebook group it is uh available to join it's called engage your fans on facebook attract captivate and connect so take a look um, i'll put the link to that uh, up above as well so if you're not in my free community group you can join in all the fun there okay so that's the end of today's show so have a great friday and an amazing weekend okay bye for now